Okay, so I have Inkscape open here, and in this video what we'll do is we will import the, the images and SVGs that we output, exported from QGIS. We'll bring those into Inkscape and so we can start manipulating them in here. Um, so before we do this, we're going to want to add a few things into Inkscape, some toolbars. So I want to click on Layer and add the Layers toolbar. And I also want to go to Object and add the Objects toolbar here. And so I'm going to put these just right over here. Um, you can put them wherever you want. You can drag and dock them places if you'd like to. Um, you can use Shift with your scroll wheel to move that over and Control with your scroll, scroll wheel, zooms in or out. Um, right now this is just set up as a letter size page. I mean, you can change the size by going to File, Document Properties, and that'll open up a new window here in a sec that gives me the, the properties of this document. It's in millimeters, we can change that. But that's just how you can change that for making a map of a different size. I'm going to stick with this for now. We can change this later depending on how our data look. But let's go ahead and let's get some things imported. First of all, I want to make layers for everything I'm importing so I can keep it organized once I bring it into Inkscape. I'm going to change this and I'm going to name this base map. And then I'm going to add a layer. And I'm going to name it uh, Hill Shade above the current. And I'm going to add another one, name it DEM um, above the current. And another one, uh, this is going to be Streams also above the current layer. And then I'm going to add the boundary above the streams. Now these keeps things somewhat organized in the layers and I can turn them on and off or lock them as I need to and we'll get through some of that later. So what I want to do now is import. So let's go file and let's import. This will bring up a new dialog box and you can see here I am in composition. Now I'm going to click cancel here because there's something I need to do before I do this. I want to make sure I have the proper layer selected. I'm going to bring the base map in first and it makes it a lot easier to just select the, select the proper layer right off the bat. So let's go File, Import, and I'm going to import Nape Full as my base map. And I'm going to link this. You can embed. Uh, if we link, we can just change the file name to this and it will put a new file in there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Import that base map. And this might take just a minute. This is a larger image uh, that we're importing. Okay. There's our base map. Now let's import our hill shade. I'll do link again. Keeping the defaults for this. And um, I'm not going to worry about lining these up just yet. Select DEM and let's import the DEM. And same, defaults there. Now let's go ahead and import the streams. The SVG file, open, there's that. Let's go ahead and import the boundary. And file, import, boundary. Okay, so here we have all of our data imported. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it all up. To do that, what I want to do, I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit. I just want to select everything. So I have it all selected. Um, you want the align and distribute option that has this little toolbox toolbar here. You can use shift control A to get it if you don't have it. I already have it opened here. And what I want to do with all those selected, it doesn't matter how this happens, you want to center horizontally and center vertically. Now those, those are all lined up. And I can, uh, let's see, I can go to edit, our view, zoom, and if I go uh, zoom to page, it'll give me right up there. Okay, 
And so there we go. I can turn these off. If I turn off boundary, streams, DEM, heel shade, you can see they're all lined up there on top of each other as I want them. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this video. We're going to come back and you'll notice that we have this white blocking everything out. We're going to come back and adjust it so that that white disappears.